I wanted to start um, actually by asking you about your new work, your new, new work. You mentioned last night that you're working on poetry that deals with masculinity. Can you say a little bit more about that? Yeah. Uh, one of the things that, you know, I tell my students and other writers is that if you're going to stay in the business of writing poetry throughout your life is that you want to be able to find new ways to challenge yourself. Um, I think work tends to get stagnant when you're writing poems that aren't asking you to learn or grow in the process. And so for me, um, where I am right now, having crossed over into my 30s um, and being an adult, and it forces me to think about masculinity differently as someone who may eventually, you know, have kids, as someone who's old enough uh, to objectively consider himself, you know, a peer to um, an older peer to a lot of, you know, younger uh, males that I begin thinking about, you know, what was I taught about masculinity? Um, what did I pick up from my environment? Um, how was it uh, engendered in me? And what of that might I need to deconstruct a bit or reconsider or, um, you know, just question and interrogate. And so that's what I'm, I'm doing now. That's, that's the challenge for me because it's difficult because I'm writing some poems that are critical of, I guess, popular conceptions of masculinity. And I feel like I have lots of friends and family members that might fit that conception. Mm -hmm. So it's tough for me to engage uh, those figures without seeming like I'm being overly critical of the people who are my friends and are my family members. Um, so it's tough, but I, you know, I think it's, it's a good challenge because, you know, I think most people that study young men will tell you that young men don't spend enough time discussing what it is to be a young man with other men. Uh, it's often something that you just act out as opposed to, uh, question and think about. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm writing these poems in the hope that, I mean, for, it's just therapeutic for me in doing it um, as a man. But, you know, my hope is that it'll also encourage other men to begin to think more and write more about, you know, what it is to be a man. You know, what are some of the pitfalls and what are some of the opportunities um, being a modern, you know, man. What, I mean, it was interesting to me, the things you were talking about last night about um, I think a student challenged you about the political efficacy of poetry, and you said something like, "Well, poetry's not going to." Uh, it's not going to reopen your failed, your your closed school, yeah. or you know, it's not going to repair uh, the dynamic in your home. Right? So, what role do you see poetry having in this conversation about masculinity? Uh, it's a bit of a mental health issue because I think there are a lot of people trapped. Um, inside of what they think they can't say um, because the question or challenge or to break away from uh, some of these dominant constructs of masculinity, you risk being ostracized or becoming vulnerable yourself. And even outside of the race issues, like one of the things that a man, you know, often cannot be is vulnerable. Um, so if to question or interrogate masculinity would lead to vulnerability, um, then it was seen that, you know, that would never happen because, you know, you still want to be a man, even if you want to question masculinity. But if question, in questioning it, you become vulnerable, then like you're in a bit of a conundrum. Um, what exactly was the question again? I'm sorry, because I feel like I'm, I'm going off track. <laughs> I was asking about the role poetry has um, in the right, conversation. Right. So, Although I'm fascinated by the answer you're offering. Yeah, no, uh, again, it's, it's just spurring, I, I think, you know, you'll, you'll hear self-help um, coaches say things like this, and it might sound trite, but it's true is that vocalizing something uh, makes it much more likely that that can become a possibility for you. Mm. So I think, you know, sometimes when you can vocalize or write about the other identities and personas and aspects of, you know, your gender identity that exists within you, you can be more comfortable wearing them on the outside and not just having those be things that exist within you privately. Um, I remember I went back to my old high school once, it was an all boys school in Newark, New Jersey, and I taught a poetry class in the summer. And 
I had the kids write um, one poem and then a palinode, you know, so, uh, you know, uh, a poem that contradicts or takes a different position. And so I had this one kid who wrote this poem about being, you know, the hardest man in the world. He was the, he was so tough and this and that and whatever. And then he wrote this other poem um, that was softer. And he was talking about the things that are inside him, the things that he worries about. And what I realized is that, you know, between those two palinodes, like that was his identity. There's what he projects, you know, which, you know, having to be a kid growing up in North New Jersey um, is the hard, impenetrable exterior. Um, but within that, you know, he's a human being. And so that's the thing. I think the conversations, um, not just about masculinity, but can push us back towards being human beings um, as opposed to being uh, ideas or tropes, mm -hmm. you know. I think sometimes you get so caught up, like, oh, some people think, oh, I'm just a kid from the, I'm just a kid from the hood, and then thinking that you put a certain limitation um, on what you believe you can be. But if you can write something else, if you can conceive of something else and articulate it, then I think you have a, a much greater likelihood of potentially achieving that, as opposed to just keeping it in your head as an ideal that is unrealistic. So I think that's what you know, poetry does. It can help us um, achieve a more comprehensive humanity um, because there's so much more to who we are than what we just project visually. So I think it, it allows you to gain some control over that psychic space.